why don't we begin talking about where we start when we open this book? It's 1986. The New York Mets have just won the World Series, of bringing great triumph and joy to the citizens of this city. The champagne corks are popping. Players are patting themselves on the back. You had to run for your life just about to get off of that field as the horseback police are not able to hold back all those rabid fans. You go into the locker room, and you made two telephone calls. Describe those calls. Uh, I went into the trainer's room, called my dad, who my dad was a big influence on my life. He got me a start in baseball, and I used to call him after every start, even before I talked to the media. To share that moment. So uh, I call him. You know, we had our moment on the phone. You know, celebrating what we just had accomplished. And unfortunately, the next call went to a drug dealer to uh, make reservations to get drugs. And my goal was to pick up drugs and obviously meet my teammates after that back at a local bar. Uh, unfortunately, I never made it to meet the teammates after that. End up watching the parade start on the TV. And that's when I knew I was in trouble. But uh, the help was there, and it was just a matter of me trying to reach out and get it. There came a time when you were in the New York Yankees where your dad was literally on his deathbed. Describe what happened next. My dad was struggling a long time. With, he was on dialysis with kidney failure. Uh, then his health started deteriorating. And so uh, we found out that he had to have emergency heart surgery. So I had a plane ticket to actually fly home the night before the surgery. I woke up that morning and I remember all the days we spent in the field, you know, doing drills, practicing, talking baseball watching games on Saturdays, listening to games on the radio, and I just thought that he would probably want me to pitch. The first three innings of that game, I was standing in the tunnel that leads from the dugout to the club. I was wondering if I made the right decision or not to go home or pitch the game. As you guys know, I ended up pitching a no-hitter. The next morning, I took the first flight home to go to the hospital to see my dad. At that point, he had the surgery, but the doctor said he saw the game. He was aware of what took place. Uh, he never made it home from the hospital. He ended up passing away, but the moral of that story was the last game he saw me pitch was the no-hitter. Wow. Those of you who have a chance to read Doc will see a story, of course, that includes many, many baseball triumphs, but also a truly moving human journey of a guy who faced the difficulties in his life, exalted in the highs, but stared the lows right down, and came out on the other end as a man who has triumphs now truly both on and off the baseball field.